Hi and welcome back to my sixth tutorial on Visual Basics. Today we will be teaching you about uh, the while and when function, which is basically telling the computer to stop at a certain stop sign. Alright, so let's say uh, we have to walk down the street and stop at the stop sign, but we don't know how far it is. So the computer won't know how far to go. So we just tell the computer to stop at the stop sign. It's simple as that. That's what the function does. I'm also going to teach you something new, which is uh, l uh, uh, showing some part of a word or a sentence. So let's say we have the sentence uh, hello, and we want uh, only to uh, use the H A L L. So it's, uh, we'll say hell instead of hello. We, uh, we just say uh, the part of sentence is sentence, uh, uh, no, it's Part of sentence is left bracket part of sentence uh, comma four because it's only showing the first four letters and it's starting uh, on the left side of the word. I'll show you in detail right now. So let's open up Word, press Alt plus F11, insert a new user form like so, rename the user form, F FRM form or whatever, just m uh, make up a random name. And uh, give it a caption if you like. So let's give it a caption. Caption, FTW, everything. Alright. Now we need a text box, uh, which I will be calling TXT input. We need uh, a button for our code, CMD show, and we need uh, a TXT output for our result. So TXT output. Alright, now let's. Uh, rename this to show and I'll tell you what we'll be making. Change the font to bold 12. Alright, awesome. So, uh, oh by the way, uh, let's increase the length of this one a bit. Alright, now you want to know what we're going to create. We're going to create uh, some sort of device which will count the amount of letters inside of a sentence. So let's, uh, for example, take hello again. Let's say we type in hello uh, the computer will uh, count how many letters the word hello has. Alright. So, but in case uh, to let the computer stop, we have to uh, say something like um, hello dollar sign. So it knows when to stop, uh, to stop at the dollar sign. And I'll show you how to code it. Alright, double click on show, go tree down and declare some values, uh, variables. So let's uh, use uh, number twice, so number integer number string, place as an integer, sentence as a string, and letters as a string. I'll tell you what to do. Number as integer will be the number of uh, letters used. So let's say we use five letters, number, we have five in it at the end of our write. And we also have to convert it to a string later on because we have to uh, place it in the txt output dot text. All right, so let's say number s s string. You still following me? All right, dim place s integer. Now what this does, its uh, place will be the place of where it's counting at the moment. So uh, we're scanning one letter at a time. So let's say we're at the third letter. Uh, it will have the value 3 in it and at the end of the write it should have the value 6 but then it uh, notice uh, or 5 I don't I'm not pretty sure but it it's sh it's just showing on which letter it is at the moment all right now we need a sentence so let's say oh sentence sentence s s string and uh, which will be uh, the sentence we uh, are using inside txt input and dim letter letter s s string all right now what uh, letters is it's just um, it's sort of the part uh, of this uh, word or sentence okay so I'll y you'll see what I mean a uh, sentence s is txt uh, input dot text so it's basically uh, what's in here will be stored in sentence s 
it's not new for you so I assume you already know what it does now we're assigning number number is zero because we haven't counted any letter yet alright now the place on the other hand is already one why one you ask it's because the age of hello let's use hello uh, for a whole program as an example hello uh, will be the first letter will be H and uh, the first letter isn't the zeroth letter do you know what I mean so uh, it starts on the first letter that's place basically now we're saying letter S is left sentence S comma one uh, bracket close now what this does it's um, it's letter S will be uh, starting at the left of our word so hello and start on the H the first letter right over here we get it alright now continue and now let's use the while and when function which is also new for you oh. so while um, letter S so that's this right over here the sentence uh, uh, smaller than bigger than and this will be our stop sign so let's use the dollar sign for example while letter S um, isn't reaching the stop sign you should do this over and over that's what it's saying right now alright so let's say number is number plus one so if it doesn't reach the stop sign you have to add a number so one to the variable number so let's say uh, we use hello at the end of the right it's adding so much numbers so once until it, uh, it's five because hello has five letters in it okay now place is also uh, increased by one because it's uh, moving one letter to the right all right do you get that so uh, when this uh, after one right this is two sort of so it starts on the e instead of the h all right so uh, this is uh, pretty much simple counting now let's say letter S is mid a sentence S comma place comma one and close it up alright let me explain what this does this mid means it's starting Ran, uh, well not random it's starting where you want it to start so you can could start it in the middle of our sentence place is uh, by now it's two so in the middle it start in the middle at the second letter which is the e on hello sentence is just uh, the sentence we entered in here so it's uh, it will start on the second letter and uh, it will only use one letter so it's only the e or the l or the l or the o all right do you get that it's it's well just uh, try to look at the code you'll see what I mean when we actually run uh, our program and go when so it will uh, close up our while function so it will continue to count and go uh, through our sentence until it reaches the uh, dollar sign so when we enter something in uh, txt input dot text it has to end with a dollar sign I'll show you what happens if you don't alright so let's say a uh, number s is string number I hope you know what this does so I won't be uh, paying much attention to it txt output dot text is number s alright if you don't know what I just did over here please go back to my other tutorials because you haven't uh, understood the basics yet all right all right so now it's basically uh, finished so let's try it out first I'll show you what happens if you don't close the word with the dollar sign so let's say hello and click on show as you can see it gives an overflow um, error which means it it's keep adding places because it doesn't reach a stop uh, sign anywhere so if the street doesn't have a stop sign and we're telling computer to uh, walk down the street until it reaches a stop sign it will be walking for a long long time that's basically uh, what this error does so now oh and so let's tell the computer to stop now hello dollar sign which is our stop sign now it will should say five because we have five letters 
and it's yeah see it's five now uh, let's say hello this is teach me up it should all oh, right now you can see it's 23 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 it's also including spaces as you can see all right so uh, that's basically what this code does and if we look at the code it's pretty simple if you get what this does this is the only hard part of our script at the moment all right now uh, please look at the code and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.